Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and today is part four of our Glory of the Hero achievement series. Uh, today we are doing Drakthoron Keep and Gundrak. Now, Drakthoron Keep is right here in uh, Grizzly Hills. You can get to it from either side, um, but I recommend if you end up going to... Well, I guess it depends on where you're coming from. You can get there from either uh, Grizzly Hills or Zuldrak, and then Gundrak is up in this area, but it's actually in one of these, I think it's in the far one um, of the things, that the, the entrance isn't actually here. And I apologize for any construction noises that you were hearing, because there's a condo being put up next to mine. So, uh, without further ado, let's get going. So, uh, the first achievement, we're going to do Jack Throne Keep first, I should say, sorry. Uh, we're going to do Better Off Dread first. And Better Off Dread, where is it, uh, is to engage King Dread in Drakthron Keep on Heroic, and slay six Drakari, Gut Reapers, or Scytheclaw during his defeat. So, when you fight King Dread, you're gonna enter the instance, you're gonna end up... So you're gonna go through here, B, come through here, and you're gonna kill him, and then while you're killing him, don't pull any of the adds, or try not to, at least don't kill them, Pull the boss and then kill. There should be about five or six different adds around there. Uh, make sure they die after you've engaged him and before you kill him. But, but before you kill him, that's really important. And then the next one is Consumption Junction, which is to defeat Trollgore on Heroic before Consume reaches 10 stacks. And I'm not doing this in boss order, I just realized, or I just wrote them down on my achievement thing here. But uh, so what you're going to do is he's the first boss you're going to pull. So come in through here, go around, kill him, and just burn him down as quickly as possible is the easiest way to describe this. And then, oh, Novos. So don't allow any undead minions to reach the floor. So um, when you're... I'm assuming you're not going to be soloing this if you are, good luck. Um, if you can even just have two people and get one person to focus on the stairs. So this is the boss here. And their adds come from this side. There's one ad at a time that comes from this side, and they destroy the different crystals when you kill them. Um, one from this side and then one from this side and then there's constantly ads coming down the stairs So station one person on the stairs and then have at least one person taking care of these two If you have three people grab one person here one person there then you're done and that's it. Those are the only ones for Drakthoron. So now we go on to Gundrak and Gundrak there's four and th One of them's a little bit tricky, but I'll do that one last uh, So the first one we're gonna do is less Robbie and Les Robbie, actually, why don't I pull up the dungeon first? Again, this is in Gundrak, which is in Zoldrak in Northrend. So you're going to enter. Okay, Alliance side, you enter here. Horde side, you enter here, I assume. I'm assuming. I don't actually know. Um, so you're going to go. You'll start with uh, Gladron. There's nothing you need to know about him. You'll do the Drakari. What's his name? Uh, Colossus. And then you'll do Morabi. You'll come around and do Ag, and then you'll do Galdara. So, for less Robbie, you, you're fighting more Robbie, and he does a move where he turns into a mammoth. So, he transforms. And he'll do it once at about 30%, and then he'll do it again, um, like when he gets down to a few percent. I don't remember the exact number. Um, all you have to do is burn him down fast and have at least one person who can silence if you're doing this at 90. If you're doing this at 85, I'd recommend having two people that have silences. Or at 80, again, at least two people with silences, because your damage isn't going to be quite there. At 90, we did this with three people, and we only ended up needing one silence. Um, but yeah, the more people you have, the more chance you have of silencing his move. So just make it, before you pull him, um, before you engage him, make sure you call out who's going to silence the first one or interrupt, who's going to silence or interrupt the second one, etc. Um, and then I'm going to skip Share the Love because that's for the last boss and it's a bit harder. Uh, snakes, why did it have to be snakes? Is for... Oh, it's for the last guy too. Okay. Um, no, that's... I'm sorry. Sladron. So that's the first one. Okay. Um, so he spawns in front of a big area full of snakes. You can kill them ahead of time. Um, but again, what will happen is I think at some point during the fight he will try and... Like basically crowd control some people in the group um, by making them get snake wrapped. 
Um, just, just burn him down as fast as you can. If it's a spell, interrupt it. Otherwise, just... Yeah, burn him down quick. Again, we did this with 390s, and we had none of us got snake grabbed. Um, and then what the heck is you need to... I don't think you need to summon him anymore, but you when you when after you fight Morabi, um, you run around, and you come into this pool here, and you'll kill him, and you'll get a debuff. And wh how you get the debuff is... Um, he'll do this little spit move, and you just have to stand in it. Um, so just make sure you're at the, you're facing the front of the boss, I think. And then you'll get this debuff. It lasts an hour, so make sure you don't die. But again, if you're doing this at 90, you're going to be fine. And then all you have to do is kill the boss while you have that debuff on you. I'm sure? Okay, so yeah, Ekras do. I don't think it does anything. It's just... I think it's like you're kind of smelly or something like that. Um, and then Share the Love is the last one, and it's for Galdara, And it's kind of a humongous pain in the butt. Basically what you're going to do is um, you need to have five people. You must have five people. The only way you can get around this is if you form a group with some of your alts online, with some of your alts in the group, and you just log off and log back on in the, on your various alts, which is really time consuming, but to be fair, this achievement in and of itself can be very time consuming. So what happens is throughout the fight, Galdara sends, I think it's a spear. Yeah, so you get impaled. So he charges you and you get impaled with either a horn or a spear or something. And each one of your five party members must get impaled. And it can't be duplicates, like it has to be unique. So each individual person, you can't just like, you can't do this with two people and have it happen five times. So everyone, everyone needs to get impaled with it. Um, so get a group of five people together. This one I think is one of the harder ones to get, especially for people who are grinding it later. So finding a group for this shouldn't be a problem, but really all you need is five friends. And if you somehow can't, get enough um if you have enough 90s two people can do it and you just kind of alternate logging off your various ads and then just keeping yourself alive once you're impaled but yeah all you need to do is just pull him have again at least five people or if you want to try the group with alts thing have fun um make sure each person gets charged so you may have to do like it may have to happen like six or seven times but you need each person to get charged and impaled and then once that happens you can kill him and you'll get the achievement share the love. As you can see, that's the only one for this one that I don't have. Because it's... I've never been able to get five people, but I think hopefully we're going to get that soon. So that's exciting. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. So that will net you... Uh, assuming you get all of them and you haven't done regular or heroic of these, it will get you... 5 plus 6 is 11. So it should give you 110 achievement points. Um, yeah, that's it. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.